Hi, I'm Sudhir. In this video, I'm going to explain about variable declaration, assigning values to a variable and also vari creating variable using different data types. So first I'm going to create a variable i of int data type. This is how we declare a variable and I'm going to assign value 12 to that created variable i. Next I'm going to write one more and console dot write turn of i, use it to print the value inside i that is 12 has to be printed on the output screen and console dot read key is use it to make the output screen stay stay like that still I press a key so I'm going to see the output using by clicking on start button there you can see that the output is 12 so this is how we create a variable of int data type which is used to store some numeric values so I'm going to comment this to write a new line of code int i equal to 12 in this line what I have done is I have created a variable named i of int data type and have stored the value initially when it is declared so we can also do this and the output for this is going to be same 12 because i contains 12 there so int is a data type which is used to store some value i'm going to copy this here you can see that now i'm going to increase the range of the value that is i'm going to increase the range so after the int is having certain limit if you cross the limit of that range it's going to throw an error because the memory for int variable is not capable of storing that value at that time we have one more data type called long this long is a data type which is used to store a value same like int which doesn't store decimal point but it is going to have more range when compared to int so if you want to store some value with more range when compared to int you can go with long I'm going to see the output. You can see that a value with more range can be displayed out on the output screen as we have stored it in long data type variable. In int type variable, you cannot save value with decimal points. So if you want to use point values, decimal points in a, to store in a variable, you have to use a data type called float. So float i equal to 1 2 3 point 4 f should be the uh, last at the last you have to add f to the value so this is how you store a value with a decimal point in a float data type so you can see that decimal point is printed on the output screen but even float is going to have some range even though it saves some value it's going to have some range if you want to save a value a decimal point value with more range you have to go with a data type called double so for this there is no need of f because this is double data type so i'm going to print the value inside d now so you can see that the value inside d is printed and it is going to have more range when compared to float if you want to save this in a float data type it's going to throw an error there because it's not having that capability to save that large number so for that we are going with double data type so as key as data types are keywords you can see that they are in lower case and they are in dark blue color in visual studio so next this is about the basic uh, methods we have in numerics we also have text data types for example char c equal to a this data type is used to save one character in a variable and that should be enclosed in single quotes so i'm going to print console or right line of c so that you can see that a is printed on the output screen that's a single character but if you want to store multiple characters in a character data type it will not allow you so for that so now it will show an error there so if you want to save multiple characters we have a data type called string s equal to you you have to enclose the value of string into double quotes and you can add multiple characters inside it so i'm going to print the value inside s that is abc printed on the output screen now so you can see abc is printed on the output screen that is the value inside string string type variable so these are the two text types one is used to store a single character one is used to store multiple characters we also have one more these are called value types we also have one more type called reference type that is object the memory for every object is stored in heap memory 
and for this object I have created an object which stores a value like numeric value one more object O1 which can save character inside it one more object O2 in which I want to save some characters so that is how we can you can print O1 there the output will be 1 2 3 you can see that 1 2 3 is printed the same O2 I'll try this time O2 A B C D is printed like that in an object type you can save any type of value because it is storing in heap memory and it is known as reference type I want to comment this and I'm going to cre create two variables I can create like this A comma G J I comma J I comma J are two variables where I equal to 12 and J equal to 20 and I'll try to add them I plus J I'm going to use an arithmetic operator plus here so the output will be 20 plus 12 that is 32 I'll show the output so here yeah, 32 is printed on the output screen because I have added the values inside two numeric values. You can also do it in different way. That is you can directly assign here one for this, another for this. And the output will be same, 32. You can also do it like this. So this is how we add values of numerics. For example, if we have two strings string s equal to a b c comma s1 equal to d e f so if you use plus operator between s and s1 two variables that is of string to data type what is going to happen is the text is going to happen the text is going to append there that is they are going to get concatenated because we cannot add value values inside strings so plus acts as for concatenation here if there are two string types it is going to get concatenated if they are of numeric types they are going to get ad added that is plus is a keyword plus is a keyword use it plus is a symbol which is used to concatenate and also addition is done if they are of arithmetic types so this is how we work with different data types and different variables and these are the different data types we can use in C-sharp. Thank you.